everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be going through some realistic potential surprise entrance for the 2020 Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble is my favorite pay-per-view, as you guys know if you follow the channel. I love the Royal Rumble so much, the stipulation, the magic in it, the surprise entrance, the non-surprise entrance, just the way that the match flows. I love everything about it. Obviously, the winner goes on to WrestleMania for a championship opportunity of their choosing. I just love the, just the whole realm around the Royal Rumble, you know, the countdown and who comes out and just the 30 entrance. It's just a magical damn thing. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to not only be going through some potential surprise entrance, but some realistic potential entrance. You know, I'm not going to be out here just saying just some wild ass names that are going to be coming out and stuff like that. I'm going to give you realistic surprise entrance that I think could possibly show up in this Royal Rumble. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So starting out first, guys, I think that these two guys are obviously a potential lock. These are very big possibilities when it comes to the Royal Rumble. Considering Brock Lesnar is going to be the number one entry, guys, I'm going with Tyson Fury and Cain Velasquez as surprise entrance. Now, I don't know if it'll be both of them. I think it'll be one or the other unless they're trying to make a Tyson Fury Braun Strowman rematch or they're trying to do a Tyson Fury Brock Lesnar thing or I think that Cain Velasquez since what we saw in Saudi Arabia was just terrible they could potentially bring him back this is the last thing I want I definitely do not want to see this I don't want to see either of these guys in the Royal Rumble I don't want them anywhere you know near this thing but I think you know it's WWE it's the Royal Rumble it's a big four pay-per-view show you know they're gonna want this they want Brock Lesnar obviously in a big marquee matchup for WrestleMania they want all the eyes they can on this product come WrestleMania time and I highly I would be highly shocked if we didn't see one or both of these guys at the Royal Rumble I don't want it to happen but I'm pretty sure it's John Brown gonna happen so let's just go ahead and mark it down that two entrants or one entrant will be taken up by either Tyson Fury or Cain Velasquez and I guess is that even a surprise I mean I guess it would be technically a surprise but I wouldn't be surprised by this bullshit if it showed up at the Royal Rumble another potential surprise entrant guys would be the in NXT champion Adam Cole, baby. I can see Adam Cole coming out, having a good showing there. Uh, another potential NXT guy could be maybe Finn Balor could show up. That I don't know why that's coming in my brain all of a sudden. That could also be a little matchup, but I am for sure going with Adam Cole. I just think that the NXT champion could show up here at the Royal Rumble. So Adam Cole is a definite possibility and a realistic potential surprise entry in this year's Royal Rumble. Next up, guys, we have a couple NXT UK participants. We have Pete Dunne and... And I'm going to go ahead and say Walter. You know, we saw Walter in the Survivor Series matchup. He did terrible in that Survivor Series matchup. They booked him like crap in that Survivor Series match. So maybe he's going to come back for some revenge. Shows up in the 2020 Royal Rumble and goes after whoever the hell eliminated him in that match. I can't even remember who eliminated him in that match. Was it Randy Orton or, or somebody like that? He, I know he got eliminated fast. That's all I know. I can't remember exactly who eliminated him. But Walter and Pete Dunne are obviously realistic potential surprise entrants in the Royal Rumble this year. For some reason, I'm feeling like Walter may be slightly higher chance than Pete Dunne, but I would love to see Pete Dunne. I love Pete Dunne to death. Much like Adam Cole, I could see him potentially showing up. I believe Adam Cole participated in the 2018 Royal Rumble and Pete Dunne participated in the 2019 Royal Rumble. So I think both of those could easily show up in the 2020 Royal Rumble. Potentially both of them showing up in this year's match. The next surprise entrant, guys, is kind of, you know, lackluster, but I, I, I swear to God I could see them doing this. I think gender football Mahal is going to come out here in the 2020 Royal Rumble. You know, he's been out for a while, and I could totally see them bringing him out there and getting a program started and probably ending up in either a big-time matchup or he'll end up in a Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Uh, so I think Jinder Mahal could easily show up. You know, they love Jinder Mahal. And then, you know what? I, I kind of like Jinder Mahal. I don't know why. I, you know, he's not the greatest superstar. He's not the worst superstar. But, you know, I could see him. I like him way more than Trash Corbin. I like him a lot better than Baron Corbin. And uh, I think that Jinder Mahal could easily show up in this Royal Rumble. Rumble and probably either I don't know if they would eliminate him like immediately but I could see him either eliminating somebody that all the fans love like an NXT talent I could easily see that shit happening like Jinder Mahal comes out you know, knocks Pete Dunn out or knocks Adam Cole out or knocks out some big time NXT talent just to get some heat from the crowd. I can totally see that happening for Gender Football Mahal. So Gender Mahal is a surprise entry that I think could easily show up. Very realistic possibility. You know, he's not the biggest name. Everybody kind of has forgotten about Gender Mahal. So why not bring him out here at the Royal Rumble and, you know, get a little, I, I doubt he'd get a big pop or anything, but I don't know. It'd be kind of fun to see Gender Football show up. So there's that. We have Adam Cole, Pete Dunn, Walter, and Gender Mahal. The next 
next realistic surprise entry in the Royal Rumble, guys, is the Velveteen Dream. Now, Velveteen Dream has been off our televisions for a little bit now. You know, he's obviously an NXT talent, but since, uh, you know, he's been gone, a lot of people haven't forgot about him. A lot of people are begging for Velveteen Dream to show back up, and I think this would be an excellent surprise entry. And I think that, you know, we it could be our fantasy booking idea that we talked about before, where an NXT talent actually wins the Royal Rumble. I could actually see Velveteen Dream winning. Everybody's big on the guy, and I could see it, man. I could see them pushing Velveteen Dream to the moon. You know, uh, apparently everybody's big on Velveteen Dream. I think he's a great talent. He's very young, and this could be, you know, a shot to the moon. The man could go on to WrestleMania and get a championship opportunity. There'd be a way to debut him to the main roster, get a lot of eyes on him. He comes out, wins the Royal Rumble. Everybody's like, who the hell is this? Give him some good promo time on TV. You know, anything can happen. Now, the winning the Royal Rumble is a very big long shot. However, making a surprise entrance in there and eliminating some folks and maybe starting a feud off of it, that is a definite potential deal. So I think Velveteen Dream, since he's been off TV, you know, he's been he's been injured for a little bit. He's been off of our TVs. He's, he, you know, he hasn't made a big appearance. He hasn't been seen. I think that this could be a huge opportunity, and he is a definite potential surprise entrant in the Royal Rumble for 2020. The next realistic surprise entrant in the Royal Rumble, guys, is John Cena. Now, this actually is going to tie in to my Velveteen Dream pick. Now, I think what they could do, they could say, you know, Velveteen Dream comes out, or John Cena's out first, or vice versa, whatever the case you want to call it, and then you have one or the other eliminate one or the other. So you'd have John Cena eliminate Dream, or you'd have Dream eliminate Cena. Cena comes out, you know, challenges Velveteen Dream to a match, and then we get a match at WrestleMania. Maybe they have a little small mini feud leading up to WrestleMania, and then we get Dream versus Cena for WrestleMania. That is a fantasy matchup that I would love to see. That is a dream match I'd love to see. I think they would kill it. I think they'd tear the house down with the storytelling and the mind games and everything. That would be one match that I would definitely sign up for. I think I'd buy a ticket to Mania just to see that match. So that is a definite match I would love to see. And I, I think that John Cena could easily be a surprise entrant in the Royal Rumble this year. We have not heard from the man or seen the man since WrestleMania 35. So this is a, you know, this would be a just shot out of the water. Nobody would see it coming. And uh, I don't know exactly what his filming schedule is. I know that a lot of his films have released by now. Uh, you know, he's a busy man, though. He could be, you know, working on films such, you know, I'm sure he is working on films right now. But we could see the GOAT return at the Royal Rumble and eliminate Velveteen Dream or get eliminated by Dream or anybody. We could just see Cena show up. You know, no Velveteen Dream needed. We could just see Cena by himself. But that is a realistic surprise entry in the year 2020. So we have John Cena and our Velveteen Dream. The next one is what everybody's saying. I think this is one that everybody has on their radar. Obviously, CM Punk, guys, CM Punk could show up at the Royal Rumble, you know, with the Fox deal and the backstage talk and all the bull crap, talking shit to the Miz, talking shit about all these different superstars. I think it's going to happen. I just don't see it. I, I don't know. I don't see it happening. You know, everybody every single year comes out and says, CM Punk's returning, CM Punk's returning. You know, we're getting CM Punk. And then what happens, Brad? We don't get CM Punk. So I, I don't know, man. I don't see that happening. I don't think that's going to happen. But anything possible. You know, never say never in the world of wrestling. Anything can happen in professional wrestling. And it would be an epic moment. It would probably be on the level of the Hardy Boys returning as far as, you know, shock and awe and value and stuff like that. Probably even bigger than the Hardys return. And it would blow everyone's effing minds. But until I actually see it happen, I am not going to say anything about it. But I will say that it is a realistic possibility. I'm not an idiot, but I will say it's realistic in its potential. But I'm not going to say it's concrete or anything like that until I actually see it, Brad. And then our realistic surprise entrant is going to be Edge, the rated R superstar. Everybody knows all the rumors flying around about Edge and him showing up at the Rumble and him showing up here and him returning for WrestleMania match and all that good jazz. Could you see number 30 being the rated R superstar? His theme music hits. He comes out, wins the Royal Rumble. I guess his matchup would be with The Fiend, right? Because are they gonna are they gonna derail The Fiend's plans? Or maybe he'd get into a scuffle with somebody in the ring and then that would lead to a, uh, you know, a, a WrestleMania match. I would love to see Edge versus Seth Rollins. That would be a great match I would love to see so maybe we could get Rollins versus Edge coming out into Wrestlemania because I think the match they want I think Roman Reigns is probably going to win the Royal Rumble setting up the Fiend versus Roman Reigns or it'll be some celebrity bullshit with Brock Lesnar and Tyson Fury or Cain Velasquez for the WWE Championship but I think you could probably make that match up outside the Royal Rumble so I wouldn't want to see one of those idiots win the Royal Rumble but I don't know maybe we'd see Edge versus the Fiend or Edge versus Brock I don't know who, who the hell knows Brad I guess everything is up for or, you know, debate. And our last surprise entrant, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be Jeff Hardy. You know, Jeff Hardy has been on the shelf for a very long time. I think he got injured almost a year ago. It was like back in February.
February or March, him and Matt Hardy had to surrender the tag titles. So this is the time for Jeff Hardy return. I am waiting on this man's return so freaking much. Please bring us back Jeff Hardy. And uh, I think he is a definite realistic possibility. I've seen his rehab. I've seen him be, you know, he keeps getting better and better every single week. I see it on his, on different social medias, on YouTube, on Matt Hardy's YouTube channel. He, uh, he's been running for months now. And I think he is back in ring shape. I think he's actually in the best shape of his life. So I think that Jeff Hardy is a definite possibility. I think that he could easily come back. I'm very high for him to return, and I think it's a very realistic possibility, and I hope to God that he does because this is the time. You know, he's been out for so very long, and he could do it here at the Royal Rumble, and I think I think you can mark Jeff Hardy down as a concrete, you know, return at the Royal Rumble. I would say John Morrison, but since they've already blown his surprise return, we've already seen him on SmackDown. No point to even put him in there, but Jeff Hardy's realistic. All of these guys, I think, are realistic. You know, uh, none of them are concrete, obviously, but I think these are very realistic. You have Adam Cole, Pete Dunn, Walter, Jeff Hardy, Jinder Mahal, Velveteen Dream, John Cena, CM Punk, and Edge. Now, all of these are not going to happen because there's usually only like four or five surprise entrants in the Royal Rumble. So it won't be all of them, but, you know, every year we speculate, every year we talk about it, and this year these are my groups to, you know, show up at the Royal Rumble, and I think they're very realistic, they're, you know, very big potential returns slash surprises, but let me know down in the comment section below if I forgot anybody, guys, I would really enjoy to see who you think is going to be a surprise entrant. Please let me know if I forgot anybody, like a stupid jackass idiot, please let me know. Also, don't forget I said Tyson Fury and Cain Velasquez, but thank you guys for watching, subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Out of all these, I would hope to see Jeff Hardy the most or Edge. I think that's my two, you know, biggest. I really want to see I really want to see Jeff Hardy return. That's like my big, big time right there. And I think it's going to happen, Brad. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.